we have to understand that whatever we think, whatever we say, whatever we do, we are going to reap what we sow. So whatever you put out, it is going to come back to you. So if you put out constantly negative things, don't be surprised when negative things come back to you. If you are always putting out positive things, don't be surprised when the positive things come back to you. Don't be surprised. Let me tell you a story. And this is going to get to my main point. Now, I am not going to tell you if it was a male or female, and I am not going to say who it is because I don't want anyone to be tripping or to get angry or anything like that. So, I was helping this person out and I really did not want to help this person out because what I had to do, I had to do so much stuff for little money, like way little money. Like it was not even worth my time. Like, no, <laughs> not even close. Even if I was to get paid twice as much, it was not worth my time at all. But this person was in need, so I was like, hey, you know, I just have to do what I have to do, you know. I don't want to do it, but this person is in need, and I have the time, so I have to do what I have to do. So I started to help this person, and there were some days that I was really getting irritated, and... I felt like I was being used. And I could tell that this person had an attitude toward me as if like I owed it to this person to do what I was doing. At least that is what I felt. And I was kind of thrown off by that like, hey, I am not doing this for me. <laughs> I am doing this for you, but anyways, I forced myself to like what I was doing. I forced myself to like what I was doing. So as time passed by, you know, I was getting used to doing what I was doing. So I had to change my whole mentality and my whole frame of mind to like doing something that I did not like at all. Like zero. My Lord. But anyways, as time passed by, something happened to where I was not able to help that person in the way that I was helping that person. Thank God. <laughs> Thank God for that bad thing. <laughs> anyways... The good thing about that, now I am being helped. And let me say this, the amount that I am being helped out with oversees what I was doing for that person. By far, by far, by far. So much help. My Lord, so much help. So, what am I trying to say? Yes, I felt like I was being used. I felt like, you know, it was not worth my time. But I helped anyways. And it felt like I was not getting what I deserved. But I kept on doing it anyways. Then what happened? I am reaping what I have been sowing or have sown. I pray that this makes sense.
the good that I was doing, okay, now what I am getting oversees what I was doing for that person. Yes, you know, some bad things are happening as well, yes, but the good that is happening oversees the bad that is happening now, by far. By far. So what am I trying to say? So what if you are being used? So what? So what if you are not getting paid right? So what? If you continue to help and do what is right, you are going to reap what you sow by far well Kevin you know I don't want to be used so I'm just going to you know do my own thing and you know I have so much pride that is why I am so selfish yes I understand that <laughs> that is pride that is pride you are always, you know what is so funny, so many people want to receive, but when it is their time to give, they are not willing. People are so quick to have their hand out, but when it is time to put something in that hand, they are like, well, you know, I have bills and I have a wife, a girlfriend and kids and stuff like that. But when you are in need, you have your hand out. And then you get some silly attitude if a person is not willing to help you out. How hypocritical is that? You are going to reap what you sow. So what if you are being used? So what if people are always calling upon you? Let me say this, man. 90% of people that ask for my help, <laughs> I don't want to help at all. Because they have these weird attitudes and this entitlement mentality and stuff like that where you have to help me or if you don't help me I'm going to look at you really mean and you know have this attitude and stuff like that but look yes I am helping you but I am helping you because God wants us to help people. So I have to take those weird attitudes. I have to take when people are very impatient and stuff like that. So be it. Why? Because I am going to reap what I sow. Yes, I am taking bad attitudes. Yes. Some people are talking really crazy to me and stuff like that, but I take it. Why? Because I am going to reap what I sow. And I know that if I continue to do good unto people and help them out and stuff like that, that that good is going to come back to me. It have to. Think about it. When you do bad, don't more bad things happen to you? So the opposite would have to be true too. The reaping and sowing, I guess you can say law, is always in effect, whether you want it to be or not. This is why I help people because I know that it is coming back to me. How can I ask for mercy when I am not willing to give mercy? How can I ask to get blessed by God when I am not willing to bless other people? How can I be a selfish... How can I be a selfish person and expect good to come to me while I am that way? <laughs> Think about that. 
this entitlement mentality. You owe me, but I don't owe you anything, ever. No matter how many times you do something for me, hey, <laughs> that, doesn't, that doesn't matter. But when you want my help, no, I am busy, you know. <laughs> what type of person is that? How can you expect any good to come to you when you are that way? Let's be serious. Doom and destruction is going to happen to you until you change. That is why I changed. I got tired of being cursed. Oh, Kevin, why are all these bad things happening to me? You know, I try to pray and it feels like that God is not hearing my prayers. How are you living your life? Well, you know, uh, you know, I don't do everything right because I don't think anyone does anything right. Well, when a person says that to me, <laughs> they are in deep sin. <laughs> that is why bad things are happening to you. Why? Because you are reaping what you are sowing or you are reaping what you have sown. It is not a coincidence. No coincidence. So if you have forgotten everything that I have said, let's say that your attention span is like 10 seconds or something. <laughs> Remember this. So what if you are being used? Help, continue to help people anyways. Anyways. So what? Because you are going to reap what you have sown. God bless.